Let's uh, go back to uh, imaging, which you said you, you, you're entering the professional space. You make fantastic cameras. In, the perception is that you make great camera for point and shoot. I've got, I've got one of them. Uh, uh, it's absolutely amazing. But so you make cameras the, for the, uh, for what can, I call, can I call it the prosumer market, the professional consumer market. But mm -hmm. when it comes to the professional, Canon and Nikon seem to have a huge head start over you. So how do you intend catching up? I think one of the, uh, the key products uh, in that space for content creation in the professional side um, is our new F65 uh, 4K uh, camera and that has gotten a lot of rave reviews from uh, the content creators in the United States, uh, in Hollywood, and certainly also from content creators here in Bollywood as well. Okay. Um, and I think that will be our first foray into uh, that space to increase market share, but also start to really uh, bring the 4K, uh, four times the resolution of high, def high definition, into the, uh, the, the discussion as well. Can, can a company like yours uh, now say, I'm a hardware company, I'm a software company, or do companies now have to be necessarily both? I think that uh, for Sony, uh, we are in a very unique position of being able to provide that condo uh, a lot of different uh, ways to move people emotionally. Uh, and uh, I share this uh, with our employees as well, in that we all are uh, bound by one common thread, and that's, again, uh, whether you're working for Sony Pictures or you're a game producer or you're creating uh, the next cyber shop, it's all about bringing Kondo and inspiring people. Uh, and that's the common thread that we all work for. How, how, how difficult is it to move the Indian co consumer emotionally? I think that uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of great products uh, for the Indian market. Um, and you know, we mentioned television before. Uh, we, you know, we have a great market share, number one, for the last quarter. Um, and I think it resonates uh, you know, from a feature and functionality standpoint with the consumers. But perhaps just as important, um, I think that in the Indian market, Sony as a brand uh, has huge equity uh, with the Indian consumers. Um, and we certainly want to make sure that we continue to have that leadership position in terms of brand equity. And of course, our relationship with all of the retailers uh, here in India is a very important part of our success. So what, what can, uh, where does the Indian market or, or India come in in your turnaround plans? Is it just a market or is it also going to be a manufacturing base, sourcing base, and research base? Where does India fit in in your turnaround sure. transformation of Sure. Uh, first of all, from a market perspective, uh, India continues to be a very important market for us. Uh, this year, we believe that uh, overall, India will be the fifth largest market for Sony on a global basis. Um, it was six uh, last fiscal year, so it's still moving up. Um, and the year-on-year -year sales increase, uh, we see uh, estimates of upwards of 30%, which is a great uh, growth for uh, business overall. So it's a very important market for us. As far as, um, as, far as uh, you know, our presence here, we obviously have a huge presence with the electronics business, but as you know, we also have a majority stake in uh, MSM, the TV broadcaster. Uh, we also have a software research and development center here overall we employ about 7,000 people uh, in the Indian market so from that perspective as well it's a very important market for us okay. so you have a very significant presence in the Indian entertainment uh, space mm -hmm. already with your with your uh, with M &M, with your uh, presence in, in channels what are your plans for the future of content uh, and entertainment in, in India I think that uh, it's, it's very important that we uh, work aggressively uh, in the Indian market to bring localized content and to create localized content or create local content uh, as much as possible. I think we've done that in the past as well and uh, I think more can be done to ensure, uh, including uh, the, the production of, uh, of, of motion pictures uh, through Sony Pictures Entertainment. So there's a lot to be done there. So are there, are there going to be new investments here or are they going to be... Uh uh, the, if I can use the word, the milking of existing investments. Um, I think that uh, you know, as as we increase our presence in the Indian market, uh, especially on the entertainment side, I think there will continue to be investments uh, for uh, various uh, entertainment properties as well as production of local content. So both perspectives.
the uh, global movie market seems to be recession proof. Is it really recession proof? What's uh, What's been your experience? I think that uh, entertainment in general, so motion pictures, uh, music, as well as to a certain extent video games, um, it really, the biggest driver there is whether you have hit content or not. Uh, and I think, for example, this year we've been very uh, fortunate with uh, titles like The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, which was a uh, number one hit for us here in India, uh, Men in Black 3. Uh, and uh, Total Recall that just came out, and also the James Bond film that's coming out. So uh, I think that from a Sony uh, Pictures perspective, we have a very strong lineup, uh, and we're very confident that uh, we'll have a successful year, certainly in the Indian market, but also worldwide as well. W w one of your, uh, one of the uh, components of you turning around or transforming Sony is that you will be cutting jobs, or you have begun cutting jobs. 10,000, of course, some of them are not people losing jobs. They're going to be businesses that are going to be sold. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, Japanese companies have had this, it's, it's been you work and you work there for life. So how difficult has it been in Japanese society to get to, to get the Japanese society to accept the fact that you have to, you have to cut jobs? I think that uh, over the years, the perception has, has come to change. Uh, and I think it's uh, more to do with how the restructuring is done in Japan, as opposed to whether you can or cannot do it. Um, and, uh, you know, we obviously want to make sure that, uh, you know, if there is a restructuring, it is, for example, as we did with some of the businesses, uh, for example, the, uh, the uh, small uh, LCD display business, um, you know, these employees did not lose jobs, but now they're working for, uh, and that's what we try to do as much as possible. Uh, we also want to make sure that we are aggressive in uh, retiring people uh, first voluntarily. Um, so again, it's how as opposed to whether we can or can't do it. Okay. So, uh, so you, you gave an example of the LCD uh, business. You also uh, shared your chemicals business. Mm -hmm. Was that part of the problem with Sony? You diversified into too many things to, uh, too fast in the past? Well, um, I, what I've said is that uh, in the turnaround, uh, there are, uh, as I said, core businesses, television, emerging markets, but at the same time, we need to review our business portfolio. Um, and for those businesses that are not additive or supportive to the core business or the turnaround of the television business, uh, we need to take a hard look to say, you know, is this something that we, uh, as, a, uh, as a business, we want to continue? Or does it have the potential to thrive even more under a different uh, situation. And I think the, the chemicals business um, certainly uh, was a decision we made uh, from that perspective, as we did with the, uh, the small city business as well. So which are the companies or people you look for inspiration when you, when you, turn, when you think of Sony and, and the need to now turn it around? Well, I think that uh, you know there are a lot of companies. Uh, Apple is a great example, where I think uh, you know about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, you know they were in a different situation they they are in today, uh, and they were able to really turn their company around. Um, I also think that completely different industry, but um, I think a lot of the uh, the folks looked at the U.S. automotive industry and thought that you know that that industry is no longer be a, a driving force, no pun intended, going forward, but in in fact, they're, they're back in a big way, um, and so uh, you know I do look at a lot of these turnaround stories or how companies have transformed themselves. Uh, IBM uh, being another great story, um, and uh, you know not all the principles apply um, to Sony, but it certainly is an inspiration for me um, that says uh, you know if you are focused uh, from a management perspective or what needs to get done, and if you analyze what the issues are and make some hard decisions and then execute them on s with speed. How do, how, do, how, do, how do you stay ahead? Because you're, you're, you've got to take bets, you've got to take expensive bets, and if one big bet goes wrong, you've, you've got to have some small company come and go, go past you, like it happened to Nokia. I think it's, uh, first of all, making sure that uh, the entire company has a sense of urgency, uh, and that uh, we can't be in autopilot mode, if you will. Okay, but can, can, can large companies have a sense of urgency, or do you need to break them down into smaller, uh, smaller business units in LA. Well, uh, the way Sony is run, uh, you know, we have in the electronics business what we call the business units that are in charge of various cat product categories, and we obviously have a mechanism to make sure that they link horizontally as well. Uh, and uh, the people that are running each of these business units report directly to me, and they have a huge sense of urgency as to what needs to get done. And also. Um, I've taken upon myself uh, over the past five months to personally visit as many 
um, of our sales and also our manufacturing facilities as, as possible. And so uh, I've uh, you know, tracked a lot of miles. I've been down to Manaus in Brazil, Thailand, Malaysia, China two weeks ago, most of uh, the facilities in Japan, uh, and also certainly here visiting the Indian market. Um, so, you know, going out and making sure that I personally deliver the message of the sense of urgency is also a very important aspect from my perspective. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.